Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is JTAC and today my friends is a Blackberry day Big shout out to Jimmy one of my amazing subscribers um, He have the Blackberry Prime or Blackberry private from AT&T. This is the device guys. It's a sliding device It's actually badass Really like this phone uh, it has uh, 18 megapixel on the back camera. I Really want to try it out. However, we do have a Google account on this device so uh, Jimmy requested uh, he said that he can access the settings for him from the phone when it's Google already Google locked however he can factory reset the phone every time he factory resets the phone it brings him back to the screen so today my friends we're gonna be showing Jimmy how we're gonna be removing the Google account from his Blackberry okay um, <clears throat> before we start guys thank you so much for all the support um, I'm uploading an LG style one video today and I'm uploading the also the blackberry as you guys can see I'm literally grinding my ass off so I would definitely appreciate it if you guys can go ahead and drop a like on my video and uh, would love it if you're new to my channel and you go ahead and hit that subscribe button especially if you can request a phone and then as you can see I can bring it live and show you how we're gonna do this okay guys let's get this thing started the first thing you can do as I've been messing with the phone a little bit um, on the screen basically if you don't you don't really have to open it just want to press in where you press your email you want to press on hold on where was it on the, the dot right here I'm sorry the light is okay you want to press on the the dot right next to the go you want to press on hold on that this menu would pop up as a secondary menu you want to press on the gear for the settings it'll take you uh, to language and input and settings so you want to press on text to speech output at the bottom tap that one, t one time for me Google to text to speech engine you want to press on the gear button again and you want to press on install voice data Obviously at this moment you already signed into Wi-Fi because you're gonna need it. So you're gonna press on install voice data. Now you're gonna press on the three dots again, guys. Um, just like so. Tap tap and open source licenses. Tap tap. Um, this menu would pop up. You're gonna press and hold anywhere you like. Anywhere you like. Let's just type in on school. Let's press and hold on that. This menu would pop up. You wanna press on the magnifier, which is for search right here up top um, it'll bring you here um, no sweat uh, don't worry at the moment uh, of course anything you look up or any website you try to go to from here it'll you know drive you crazy because it would literally not open up the website it'll open up like a small page anyways let's just type in settings um, as you guys can see SE settings already popped up I'm gonna go ahead and press on that and uh, while we add it let's just check about phone on, let's go. Oh, it's Android version 5.1.1. Okay, so um, uh, Android security patch level April 2nd, 2016. Is that's what we have today? So, anyways, <clears throat> you're in settings to do uh, for this reason right here to go to security. You want to press on that. You want to drop down to where it says unknown sources, Jimmy. So go ahead and trigger that on and press OK. Now we have it turned on. As you can see, it's switched on. You want to press back again and uh, back one more time. You want to press and hold anywhere again. This uh, we pressed on school. Let's press and graduate, just because. But let's plus uh, press again on the magnifier to open up the. This is not Google Chrome, by the way. This is just uh, the OK Google type of thing. You see, as soon as I said it, it opened up. So I'm just press anywhere. Um, now you want to type in Chrome. So. We can access that app, Chrome. As you can see, Chrome is right here. You want to press on that. Now it'll actually open up the Google Chrome for you. Accept and continue, and no thanks. Okay, so right now you want to type in uh, APK P U R E uh, download. As you guys can see, I'm I'm trying to download this marketplace called APK Pure Download. Uh, APK Pure, basically, is just like a third party, a marketplace to download apps. So let's press an APK download. Now, the website would pop up here, and it'll give you like little extensions. You want to press on Pure APK install. This is like the fastest shortcut to get to where we want. 
Now in the middle right here in the screen bar it says download APK, it's 5.4 megabytes, you want to press on that. Whoops, the light it just fell, so we're good now. Now as you guys can see this popped up in the middle of the screen saying uh, this can harm your phone, whatever, you want to press OK on that because you already switched the security uh, and no sources on. So we're good right now. So right now as you guys can see since this is a blackberry it doesn't have a file commander or a file manager if we search for one it's just gonna google it we don't want we don't want it to google stuff like that um so what you want to do is you want to press settings again another way to you know access this uh the download f folder to open up what we just downloaded so as you guys can see if I press SET settings will not pop up because we are in Google Chrome so what we want to do is press back now go back to where we said okay Google and it worked right here you see where it says we searched Chrome you wanna you know just delete that we are in the bar again you wanna press on that where we search school <clears throat> if you press back one more time that's fine you can just press and hold and uh, licenses again and then just search it and come over here and type in settings again set settings popped up you want to press on settings and another quick way to access the folder for download for the apk we just downloaded is scrolling down for storage now you press on storage this is gonna calculate let it calculate real quick and as you guys can see it says downloads right here it shows you like the system folders you want to press on downloads it'll bring you exactly where you want to be so you want to press on this which is the file we downloaded this is a third party installer as well um, you just want to let the system do, decide that's fine or you can just uh, eternal storage that's totally okay you can accept that no issues here um, okay at this moment you want to press open it'll open up the file for you this is just a marketplace again so when you're here you want to search for the last results which is uh quick again quick sorry uh, quick short cut maker the only reason we're doing it through a marketplace guys is because we want to get the latest update that's out there okay you want to search that make sure you get this emblem the gold background or whatever you want to install that for me it shouldn't take long at all because it's only 2.2 .2 megabytes okay the screen pop up you want to install this let the you know what let's do internal device storage it doesn't really matter as long as you don't have SD card inside the phone you don't really have to worry about nothing now we want to press open it'll bring you to the screen um right here guys pay attention i want you to type in google let me just google account oh sorry i put double g up front see okay so g o o g l a a c c okay account as you guys can see when you type in google account it'll say google account manager by itself Oh man, I keep messing it up. Here we go. As soon as it says Google Account Manager, as you guys can see, we have three things, right? So you see this down arrow. When you press on this, a little menu would expand. So that's what you want to do. You want to press on the little one, little arrow down. Uh, this menu would pop up. So before we press anything else, at the as you guys can see, um, right behind, like right at the bottom of the screen, there's this down arrow again. If I press it, it's gonna hide the keyboard. That's what I'm trying to do now. I'm only you know showing you everything clear so you don't have any problem doing it Jimmy now if you guys go ahead and count one two three four five six the sixth option is what you want to press I want to show you what it says um, bring it close now this is number five this is number six and bring both of them up front it says Google account manager type email and password and then the sixth one says also the same thing you want to press on the second one okay because if you guys can pay attention this will take your login activity we don't want that we want uh the e d u l uh, i'm sorry the edu login activity that's what you want to open 
you want to press on that it'll bring you to the screen now try and then launch activity to confirm all the words right here they're all connected to the same link so you want to press anywhere by try bring you to retype password three dots again up top you guys see them right here you want to press that tap it one time it'll bring you to browser sign in you want to tap that by signing in you just want to agree to this and right here is where you want to enter your own Google email and password let me go ahead and do that I can put my email in front of you guys that's fine but I gotta hide my password of course for security purposes now I'm gonna bring the phone up let me just press next right here so you guys know this is my email okay now I just gotta type in my password let me go ahead and do that guys kinda have a long password here Man, it's a long password I hope I didn't mess it up okay so now I'm gonna press on uh, the down arrow again to hide the keyboard so we want to pay attention to everything that happens on the screen you want to press sign in and then when you press sign in it should sign you in but bring you back to the APK where we we're just at where we were doing the Google Chrome I'm sorry the Google account manager if it brought you back here Jimmy and guys that means we're doing everything perfect so what do you want to do you want to press nothing else the power button is on the side you want to press and hold on that until you get the restart option or reboot whatever so you want to press reboot to reboot the device press ok and this should be it this should be everything we needed today um, let the phone restart I'm not gonna cut off the camera right now just to show you guys what we're having problem with is resolved finally now the phone would restart uh, basically not asking you for Google account anymore now what we just did guys is we we swapped our own Google account with the one that was built in there after hot factory reset or after you bought or got as a gift the phone hopefully nobody did anything else to get the phone except about purchasing the phone or getting it as a gift uh, so now the phone restarted you want to go ahead and press next okay insert some cards since we don't have one we just want to skip your Wi-Fi should already be connected so mine is already connected it'll automatically kick in check connection software update check connection again and it will should ask you for your Google account but what we did is preventing that from happening we just added the Google account we want inside the phone now this shouldn't take two minutes but it just says two minutes let's go ahead and wait for it anyways find out what happens again guys um, what I really want to say if you enjoyed my video please go ahead like my video subscribe share let everybody know about this new method if you have a different phone that's like a weird ass phone nobody knew about somehow you got your Google account locked in it please go ahead and let me know put that in the comment section below make sure you sub you are a subscriber already that's that keeps pushing me forward to make videos trust me I have nothing to be more happy about when I make videos it's kinda like a hobby to me anyways account added as you guys can see your first account is ready for use you basically when it says your first account which is the original owner account so you can press next on here it will ask you to protect your phone by putting a password you don't have to worry about that next next more next and you have to agree to like blackberry solution license agreement so I'm gonna agree to that I'm gonna press ok and diagnostic we don't wanna do that I'm just gonna skip it just to show you guys we wanna get to the home screen and we wanna show you that we don't have any more problems with this device as you guys can see this is the APK here we downloaded if I go to settings scroll down to accounts I will find my account in there the account I just put in ojxb at gmail.com is now synced into the phone so basically after you do the step uh, make sure if you're giving the phone away again to somebody or you know doing whatever you want to do with your phone 
make sure you delete your own Google account so they can factory reset it on their own terms. So you can go to settings, scroll down where it says account. My account should be already in here. As you guys can see, there we, there we have it. Other than that, you can just factory reset the phone and uh, keep it or just go ahead and start downloading whatever you want to download because you already synced in. You see, you don't have to sign in anymore. If you factory reset the phone right now, it shouldn't ask you for a Google account anymore. And this is it. This is how you take Google account out of BlackBerry, private or private. It's been Jay, and it's been a great day for me, guys. <clears throat> Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's. Thank you so much. Uh, keep pushing forward. I believe in you guys. Let's go for a thousand subscribers, please. Have a great day, or have a great night. Yeah, peace. I'm out.